I'm Shannon Muldoon and I'm here in Arlington, Texas at the fifth annual Catholic New Media Conference. We are here with some great Catholic bloggers, Catholic podcasters, and some leaders in Catholic communications. We got a chance to catch up with a few of them, so let's go see what they had to say. It's just really the onward action of the church from the very beginning. You know, Jesus Christ said to go out and spread the good news to all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. And so the church has always used the various forms of communication out there to spread that good news, whether it's the writings of St. Paul, that went, the letters that were spread out and copied, and, and the teachings of the various uh, fathers of the church and saints that were copied and, and also brought out. All those things were the forms of communication that were available then. And so what we're doing now in the 21st century is we're using the digital media like the internet, like uh, texting on cell phones, like television still, all those things out there to in some way talk about the person of Jesus Christ, the, the salvation that he's offered to all who serve him and love him, and, and just to spread in joy and faith and hope, uh, the very positive message of the Catholic faith so that others may come to believe as we believe and so know the joy and the hope that we have. There's a, non a Catholic nonprofit that I run called Peter and Paul Ministries, and we build websites. We basically help the church to get a strong foothold in social media. And back, back in Chicago, um, there's a lot of parishes that really feel like they can't afford to um, provide uh, or to, to have a well-done Catholic website, to have a, a good footprint in, in the social media field. And so it's important for me to be here to take this message back to my archdiocese and especially to the black Catholic community to help um, foster a spirit of new evangelization and, and to show parishes that they too can uh, get into social media and do it well even with a limited budget. So SQPN is an organization who, whose goal is to evangelize through the use of new media. And so part of that is SQPN produces podcasts and blogs and lots of media and, uh, and about all sorts of topics. So um, like one of our most popular podcasts is actually about Harry Potter and it just draws in a lot of people who then find out about the church through different topics that, that are relevant to their life. I started uh, doing tweets, uh, started with a blog and then moved into tweets, Facebook and, and the like just to, to see what this world was like. How does it work? And as I developed on Twitter, I said, let me offer something. And I began doing a daily liturgy haiku, drawing from the readings from Mass and then putting them into 17 syllables. And I have found that there are people, like that is their spiritual thought for the day. And I've realized, well, this is my service on social media. It's just this little kind of gospel tidbit. For some people, that's their scripture. Uh, that's their introduction to, to what Catholics read at Mass. And so it's like, that's one, one area that I discovered people really appreciate. It's a you know, little tidbit, but it's consistent and something they can look forward to. It's, it, every time, every year it gets bigger and better. So it's just one of those conferences that I don't want to miss every year, because mostly because of all the great people that are here. And it's kind of one of those events for all of us that interact online in the church throughout the year every day on Twitter and Facebook um, finally get a chance to shake hands and hang out and hear each other and share all the things we've been working on and and have a beer together and share a meal and all that good stuff so it's just uh, kind of brings everything together every year uh, for a great great time well we've kind of been involved for a few years now just kind of as as participants and as speakers um, this year we were honored to get to um, present a tech track which was kind of an addition to what they've normally done um, at the CNMC where we got to talk a little bit more tech with some of the developers and people that like to get a little more nerdy about it and, um, and start developing that community within the greater CNMC new media community. So as you can see, we're surrounded by some talented bloggers, podcasters, and leaders in Catholic communications. The CNMC is a wonderful experience and Catholic TV is so happy to be here.